Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So as you've seen in the intro, we are going to paint today a wavy abstract art. And it is fairly easy. So yeah, let's start here. So I've already prepared my paper uh, and I've put a little bit of color just to have a smooth background. And here I'm using directly my acrylic paint mixed with water uh, and a large brush just to create some movement and some simple brush strokes and I, I try to have one side with some white and one side with some dark blue just to get different shading and yeah a, a little movement of waviness almost like clouds and here on my palette, I only have some uh, white, uh, my greenish blue and black. So I have only three color. I can match them fairly easily. And yeah, here you can see I'm going over and over just to create some more contrast because on a painting, you really need to have some dark colors against whites and lighter color yeah you really need to have a nice composition it is really important when you do uh, abstract art and with these techniques you can get nice 3d textures and motions so here you see i'm adding whites i try to also remove the spots where i have uh, brush strokes or yeah, a little part, a little missing part of paint. So yeah, now that my painting is dry, I mean my first design, I'm going to do the same thing with more water, even more water onto my paint. So if you hear that I have my noisy voice today, I have my allergies back. And yeah, I'm sure uh, you can relate to that. So yeah, here I'm using white with a little bit of water and I'm going to draw some um, what I like to call uh, cracks and yeah, like you see in the stone, even though it is not uh, what we are going to do today, um, but yeah, I really like to add those little details. Okay, now it's time to add a little bit more color. So for this, I'm going to use some raw sienna. Uh, sienna, sorry. I like to use this color against the blue because it is really beautiful. And this is the opposite color of blue. And that's why it is really um, a matchy matchy with the blue. So here, what I do is the same technique as the white. I'm using my dry brush and some wet color. And you can always uh, go over it with some more water to erase what you are doing before it is completely dry. And also I'm going to put some uh, purple color, pink color. You can now watch this video on my Patreon page. I've already made a, a full tutorial on this one with all of the explanation, all of the products used. Everything is linked uh, down in the description if you want to subscribe. Then it is time to add the gold. So for this, I'm going to use my PBO uh, gilding paste. This is to glue the gold leaf. I always use that. If you're familiar with my videos, I've always uh, used the same technique. So here I've made like a 3D gel 
under my gold just so I have a nice shiny gold with lots of little details and um, yeah you will see at the end what my gold will look like here you can clearly see what I'm talking about it is important to have some nice texture under the gold so you have a really beautiful shiny gold if I've applied my gold directly on my paper it will be flat and almost the same uh, texture as my paint and here is the result I've applied two coats of varnish on it and I cut my paper in a perfect square uh, this painting is for a special project. I will talk about. I will talk about that on Instagram soon. And yeah, look at that shine and that three D gold, textured gold. I really like this painting. I'd like to thank all of my patrons here uh, who support my channel, who support my art. And yeah, really thank you. So thank you for watching my video. I wish you all a great day and see you. Bye. Bye guys.